Hey guys, welcome to Boston Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are myth busting the brand new bulletproof camera for Rainbow. And this thing is pretty crazy. And I would have guessed we would never see anything like this as just a secondary gadget. Maybe as a dedicated gadget for a brand new operator, but not as an additional gadget for current operators. So this is what it actually looks like in the menu and yeah, it replaces one of your current gadgets on six of the current operators. And those operators are Mute, Castle, Dock, Frost, Cav, and Vigil. Now let me give you a quick overview of this camera. First of all, it can be placed down like a Jaeger active defense system, which means you can place it on walls or objects, or you can place it on the floor. It cannot pan left to right, up or down. It just looks exactly where it's being placed, so that limits it quite considerably and definitely means that Valkyrie is not obsolete. However, because you can put this on six operators, it does mean you can have an entire team of defenders with a camera each. That's five additional cameras, which is pretty crazy. And of course, it is bulletproof from pretty much from all angles. However, we will get more in depth with the bulletproof capabilities of this camera very soon. So it's a very interesting gadget, but it does have massive limitations and of course replaces something like impact grenades or something else on your character. So let's start with the first myth. The bulletproof camera is bulletproof. So of course we've got to test this and we've got to test it against different weapons, different operators and figure out if this camera really is entirely bulletproof like its name would lead you to believe or if it's not. So let's first of all just take a look at how this thing works. It is a big device and it has this big panel of bulletproof glass. It also has this big frame of metal around it, which is also bulletproof. You can see the little red indicator when someone is using it and it's pretty noticeable from far away. You can see how much damage this thing can take and it certainly appears to be pretty much bulletproof. It's certainly from the front, you can't do anything. Even getting to the little bits of the sides, you can't do much. You can't seem to destroy it by shooting its metal frame at all. And even if you bring in heavy weaponry like Glaz's sniper rifle, you'll notice that his gun is not capable of actually damaging this camera front on, which is quite impressive. I was totally expecting Glaz to be able to one-shot these things, but that's not the case. And you can put as many rounds into this thing as you want. It will not flinch. So shooting it dead on is just definitely not an option. You're going to have to get round to the sides. Let's talk about this. The frame itself has a gap that looks right into the device. If you get a bullet in there, you can get right into that lovely electronics and completely destroy it. So that means it's busted. It's not bulletproof. It is bulletproof in a lot of ways. But if you can get into the side or the bottom or above, you can take it out. The bulletproof cameras can see through smoke. So you'll notice that the actual vision for these cameras is very different from your usual cams and kind of looks more like Glass's thermal scope than it does a normal camera. And you can see that it can actually see through smoke, making it very, very powerful, especially in a position like this where you're looking out the garage door it's very hard for an attacker to then flank it and kill the camera so you can have this almost permanent position of a really nice cam it's also the case with capital smoke as well you can see right through it and you can then of course kill the enemy if you know exactly where they are trying to hide in that smoke so that is confirmed you can destroy the camera with a melee attack so of course because of game physics, we know that a melee attack is far more powerful than a bullet. So yeah, you can just walk up to these things and melee them and that will destroy them. So that is confirmed. Thatcher's EMP will destroy the camera. So of course, Thatcher is very reliable at destroying ele electronic devices. The only things that can really get away from it are things like Echo's drone. So what about this brand new camera? Well, Pretty amazingly, it can survive an EMP attack. Now it does get disabled for a short amount of time, but it will survive, which is crazy and really good against Thatcher, of course. And no matter how many EMPs you throw at it, the camera will live. You can see I did destroy a camera there, but that was just the one in the garage by default. So 
a really rugged little cam this and I think it's going to be very useful in certain situations. So that's busted. Thatcher cannot destroy this with an EMP. The camera can be destroyed by destroying the surface it is on. So Valkyrie cams, when the surface gets destroyed, they just fall down and reattach themselves. Whereas this camera explodes when the surface it's on has been destroyed. So that's confirmed. Taking out the surface these cameras are on will destroy the camera. However, you can put these cameras onto solid surfaces that can't be destroyed or onto reinforced walls. So there is ways around this. The cameras have very limited placement. So you can't actually place these when you're prone and you can attach them to solid things like this, for instance, but these cameras are freaking huge. So hiding them is gonna pretty much be impossible. You're gonna probably want to have these in objectives in locations where they're only gonna be able to be shot from one direction. Now I did come up with this idea of putting them on like the very bottom of a staircase or something. So that way you can actually use audio rather than visual in order to know someone's coming by. Uh, that might work. So it's really going to be experimentation with this new cam and finding good spots for it because it is definitely very limited in where you can put them. I even tried putting these on the ceilings and it didn't work. So that is confirmed. Very, very limited placements and still means that Valkyrie is very relevant. Now let's move on to specific operators. So can Ash counter these devices? Well, if the camera gets hit dead on with an ash round, it just bounces right off. But the actual explosion, if the round goes off, will destroy the camera. So it's not exactly confirmed, but it's certainly plausible that Ash can take these cameras out. Twitch can destroy the camera. So of course, Twitch drones are known for being able to take out gadgets. And definitely, I was very interested in exactly how this would work. So of course, the bulletproof glass, nothing the metal frame nothing but get a nice angle on the insides and you can take it out so that is confirmed and that's very good for twitch you can indeed take out these bulletproof cameras iq can detect these cameras so of course i've been saying for a while now every time there's a new season iq gets a buff apparently now with the mid-season she's also getting another buff so here we go and you can clearly see that we can see the device and it's got this unique shape. You can see that it's this kind of electronic box inside that metal and bulletproof frame. So IQ can very much detect it, figure out where they are. Might have trouble destroying them, but of course knowing where they are is a good thing. So that is confirmed. Habana can destroy the camera. Now, this was interesting. I thought maybe Habana's charges will actually stick to the camera and they don't, just bounced off. But if you set off the charges, the explosion radius will destroy the camera. However, of course, these cameras can be placed on non-destructible surfaces, which Habana's just bounce off. So it is confirmed, but you'll need it on a reinforced wall or a destructible surface in order to actually have it work. Zofia can destroy the camera. Now, Zofia is definitely the biggest counter to these cameras because her impact grenades take them out in one go. So very easy to do, very simple. Of course, she's only got two explosive grenades, so that means you can only take out two cameras. And if, and if the, the entire enemy team is bringing cams, that's five. You ain't gonna be able to take them all out. Now here's some other little details that I noticed. So placing these cameras on the ground, of course, gives you a really horrible point of view. And I'm not really sure where they're gonna be particularly useful. Like maybe underneath trap doors or something, it would, you know, it it's not, it's definitely not good. And the fact they can't pan around makes it almost useless to put them on the ground. And of course, if they're on the ground, it makes them easier to shoot from attackers that are on the same level as them as well. So it's definitely not the best place to put them. But I guess having options is better than not having them. And the other thing is that not all explosions will take them out. So I had a breaching charge on that wall. And then the camera was on the reinforced wall. The explosion still didn't take it out. So it's there is a pretty tough little thing. This is another thing I tested out, and it's what would happen if your camera was on trapdoor and you shot it open, or someone else shot it open, and yeah, the camera gets instantly destroyed. Whereas a Valkyrie cam actually drops down, which can be useful. And this is how good the vision is on the cam. So you can see Lion over there, and he's clear as day. And I've set up the camera in a way that makes it very hard to spot. 
it's going to be very useful in certain situations and if used smartly. So that is my little kind of overview and myth busting of this brand new bulletproof camera that should be coming to Rainbow Six Siege very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.